Yehoshua or Joshua 12 through 15. And these are the sovereigns of the land whom the children of Israel struck and whose land they possessed beyond the Yarden towards the sun rising, from the Wadi Arnon to Mount Hermon and all the desert plain eastward. Sahon, sovereign of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, ruling from Aroer, which is on the bank of the Wadi Arnon, from the middle of that Wadi and half Gilad, even as far as the Wadi Yabak, the border of the children of Ammon, and the desert plain from the Sea of Kinneroth eastward, as far as the Sea of Arabah, the Salt Sea, the way to Beth Yishmoth, and southward below the slopes of Pisgah, and the border of Og, sovereign of Bashan, who was of the remnant of the Rephaites who dwelt at Ashtaroth and at Edre, and ruled in Mount Hermon, and in Salka, and in all Bashan, as far as the border of the Gersherites, and the Maakathites, and the half of Gilad, as far as the border of Sahon, sovereign of Heshbon. Moshe, the servant of Yehovah, and the children of Israel had stricken them. And Moshe, the servant of Yehovah, had given it as a possession to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the sovereigns of the land which Yehoshua and the children of Israel struck beyond the Yarden on the west, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, as far as Mount Halak that goes up to Seir, which Yehoshua gave to the tribes of Israel as a possession according to their divisions. In the mountain country, and in the low country, and in the desert plain, and in the slopes, and in the wilderness, and in the south, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Yebusites. The sovereign of Jericho, one. The sovereign of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one. The sovereign of Jerusalem, one. The sovereign of Hebron, one. The sovereign of Yarmouth, one. The sovereign of Lachish, one. The sovereign of Eglon, one. The sovereign of Gezar, one. The sovereign of Debir, one. The sovereign of Gedar, one. The sovereign of Horma, one. The sovereign of Arad, one. The sovereign of Libna, one. The sovereign of Adulam, one. The sovereign of Makeda, one. The sovereign of Bethel, one. The sovereign of Tapua, one. The sovereign of Hefer, one. The sovereign of Ephek, one. The sovereign of Sharon, one. The sovereign of Medan, one. The sovereign of Hatsar, one. The sovereign of Shimron, Meron, one. The sovereign of Akshath, one. The sovereign of Tanakh, one. The sovereign of Megiddo, one. The sovereign of Kadesh, one. The sovereign of Yonam in Carmel, one. The sovereign of Dor in the heights of Dor, one. The sovereign of the nations of Gilgal, one. The sovereigns of Terza, one. Thirty-one sovereigns in all. Chapter 13. And Yehoshua was old, advanced in years, and Yehovah said to him, You're old, advanced in years, and still much of the land remains to be possessed. This is the land that remains. All the districts of the Philistines and all the Geshurites, from Shehor, which is in front of Mitzrayim, and up to the border of Ekron northward are considered as Canaanite. The five princes of the Philistines, the Azathites and the Ashdodites and the Eshkelonites and the Gittites and the Ekronites, also the Alites on the south, all the land of the Canaanites and Merara that belongs to the Sidonians, as far as Ephek, to the border of the Amorites, 
and the land of the Gebelites and all Lebanon towards the sunrise from Baal God below Mount Hermon, as far as the entrance to Hamath, all the inhabitants of the mountains from Lebanon as far as Misrephoth, Mayim, and all the Sidonians. I myself drive them out before the children of Israel, only divide it by lot to Israel as an inheritance as I've commanded you. And now divide this land as an inheritance to the nine tribes and half tribe of Manasseh with them. The other half tribe, the Reubenites and the Gadites, received their inheritance, which Moshe had given them beyond the yard and eastward, as Moshe the servant of Yahavah had given them, from Avarur, which is on the bank of the Wadi Arnon, and the city that is in the middle of the Wadi, and all the plain of Medeba, as far as Debon. And all the cities of Sahon, sovereign of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, as far as the border of the children of Ammon. And Galad, the border of the Geshurites, and of the Maacathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, as far as Salka. And all the reign of Og in Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth and in Adri who remained of the remnant of the Rephaites, for Moshe had stricken and dispossessed them. However, the children of Israel did not drive out the Geshurites nor the Maacathites. So the Geshurites and the Maacathites dwell in the midst of Israel to this day. Only to the tribe of Levi he had given no inheritance. The offerings made by fire to Yehovah, Elohim of Israel, were their inheritance, as he said to them. And Moshe gave to the tribes of the children of Reuben for their clans, and their border was from Aroer, which is on the bank of the Wadi Arnon, and the city that is in the middle of the Wadi, and all the plains by Medabah, Heshbon, and all its cities that are in the plain. Debon and Bamoth Baal and Beth Baal Mion and Yatza and Kedamoth and Mephaoth and Kir Yathayim and Sibma and Sereth Shahar on the mountain of the valley and Beeth Peor and the slopes of Pisgah and Beeth Ishmoth and all the cities of the plain, and all the reign of Sahon, sovereign of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moshe had stricken with the princes of Midian, Ay, and Rechem, and Sor, and Hor, and Reba, princes of Sahon dwelling in the land. And the sons of Israel killed with the sword, Bilam, son of Beor, with the diviner among those who were killed by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was the bank of the Yarden. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben for their clans, the cities and their villages. And Moshe gave to the tribe of Gad, to the children of Gad, for their clans. And their border was Yazer and all the cities of Galad, and half the land of the children of Ammon, as far as Aurora, which is before Rabbah. And from Heshbon to Ramath, Mitzpah, and Betanim, and from Mahanaim to the border of Deber, and in the valley, Beth Haram, and Beth Nimrah, and Sukkot, and Safavan, the rest of the reign of Sahon, sovereign of Heshbon, the Yarden being its border, as far as the edge of the Sea of Kinnereth, beyond the Yarden eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad for their clads, the cities and their villages. And Moshe gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh, and it was for half the tribe of the children of Manasseh for their clans. And their border was from Mahanaim, Al-Bashan, all the reign of Og, sovereign of Bashan, 
and all the small towns of Yair, which are in Bashan, 60 cities, and the half of Galad, and Ashtaroth, and Edri, cities of the reign of Og and Bashan, were for the children of Machir, son of Manasseh, to the half of the children of Machir for their clans. These Moshe gave as an inheritance in the desert plains of Moab, beyond the Yarden, by Yeriho eastward. But to the tribe of Levi, Moshe gave no inheritance. Yehovah, Elohim of Israel, he was their inheritance, as he had said to them. Chapter 14. Now these children of Israel inherited the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest and Yehoshua son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel caused them to inherit. Their inheritance was by lot, as Yehovah had commanded by the hand of Moshe, for the nine tribes and the half-tribe. For Moshe had given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half-tribe beyond the Yarden, but to the Levites he gave no inheritance in their midst. For the children of Yosef had become two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and they gave no part to the Levites in their land except cities to dwell in with open land for their livestock and their possessions. As Yehovah had commanded Moshe, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. And the children of Yehuda came to Yehoshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Yephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, you know the word which Jehovah said to Moshe, the man of Elohim, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. I was 40 years old when Moshe, the servant of Jehovah, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. But my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I followed Jehovah, my Elohim, completely. So... Moshe swore on that day, saying, The land on which your foot has trodden is your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have followed Yehovah my Elohim completely. And now see, Yehovah has kept me alive, as he said, these 45 years since Yehovah spoke the word to Moshe, while Israel walked in the wilderness. And now see, I'm 85 years old today, Yet, I'm still as strong today as I was on the day that Moshe sent me. As my strength was then, so my strength is now for battle and for going out and for coming in. And now, give me this mountain of which Jehovah spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim were there and that the cities were great and walled. If Jehovah is with me, then I shall dispossess them, as Yehovah said. Yehoshua then blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb, son of Yephunneh, as an inheritance. So, Hebron became the inheritance of Caleb, son of Yephunneh, the Kezanite, to this day, because he followed Yehovah Elohim of Israel completely. Now, the name of Hebron was formerly Kiriath Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim. And the land had rest from fighting. Chapter 15. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Yehuda for their clans was to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Sin, southward in the extreme south, and their southern border began at the edge of the Salt Sea from the bay that faces southward. And it went out to the southern side of the ascent of Akrabin, passed over to Tsin, and went up on the south side of Kadesh Barnea, and passed over Hetzron, and went up to Adar, and went around Karka, and passed over to Atzmon, and went out to the Wadi of Mitzrayim, and the border ended at the sea, 
this is your southern border. And the east border was the Salt Sea as far as the end of the Yarden, and the border on the northern quarter began at the Bay of the Sea at the end of the Yarden. And the border went up to Beth Hagla and passed over the north of Beth Arabah. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debir in the valley of Achor. And it turned northward toward Gilgal, which is before the ascent of Aduma, which is south of the Wadi. And the border passed over to the waters of En Shemesh and ended at En Rogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom to the southern slope of the Yebusite city, that is, Yerushalayim. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of Rephaim northward. And the border went around from the top of the hill to the fountain of the water of Nephtalah, and went up to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border went around to Ba'alah, that is, Kiriath Ya'arim. And the border turned around from Ba'alah westward to Mount Seir and passed over to the side of Mount Ya'arim on the north, that is, Kesalan, and went down to Beth Shemesh and passed over to Timnah. And the border went out to the side of Ekron northward, and the border went around to Shekharan, and passed over to Mount Ba'alah, and went out to Yabna'el, and the border ended at the sea. And the west border was the coastline of the Great Sea. This is the boundary of the children of Yehuda all around for their clans. And to Caleb, son of Yefuna. He gave a portion in the midst of the children of Yehuda, according to the mouth of Yehovah to Yehoshua. Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, Arba was the father of Anak. And Caleb drove out the three sons of Anak from there, Sheshai and Ahaman and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up from there to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir formerly was Kiriath Sefer. And Caleb said, He who strikes Kiriath Sefer and shall capture it to him, I shall give Aksa, my daughter, as wife. And Othniel, son of Kenez, the brother of Caleb, did capture it, so he gave him Aksa, his daughter, as wife. And it came to be when she came to him, that she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. And when she got off from the donkey, Caleb said to her, What's the matter? And she said, Give me a blessing. Since you've given me land in the south, give me also fountains of water. And he gave her the upper fountains and the lower fountains. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Yehuda for their clans. And the cities at the furthest border of the tribe of the children of Yehuda, toward the border of Edom in the south, were Kabzael and Eder and Yagor and Kina and Dimona and Adada and Kadesh and Hatsor and Yithnan, Zith and Telem and Be'alath and Hatsar. Hadata and Kerioth Hetzron, that is Hatzar, Amam and Shema and Molada and Hatzar Gada and Heshmon and Beth Pelet and Hatzar Shual and Be'ashiba and Bizyothia, Bala and Ayin and Etzem and Eltolad and Kesil and Horma, and Siklag, and Mad Mana, and Sansana, and Lebaoth, and Shilhim, and Ayin, and Rimon. All the cities were twenty nine with their villages. In the low country, Eshtaol, and Sora, and Ashna, and Zanawa, and Enganim, and 
have Hua and Inam, Yarmuth and Adullam, Soka and Ezekah, and Sha Arayim, and Adithayim, and Gedera and Gedarothayim, fourteen cities with their villages. Zenan, and Hadasha, and Migdalgal, and Delan, and Mitzpeh, and Yokthael, Lakish, and the Batzqua, and Eglon, and Kaban, and Lamam, and Kithlish, and Gedaroth, Beth Dagan, Naama, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages. Libna and Ether and Ashan and Yifkta and Ashnan and Netzib and Ke'ela and Aksib and Merisha, nine cities with their villages. Ekron, with its town and its villages. From Ekron to the sea, all that were by the side of Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod, its town and its villages. Azah, its town and its villages, as far as the wadi of Mitzrayim and the great sea with its coastline. And in the mountain country, Shamor and Yatir and Soko and Dana and Kiriath Sana, that is Debir, and Anab and Eshtemal and Anan and Goshen, and Holon, and Gillo, eleven cities with their villages. Arab, and Duma, and Ashan, and Yanin, and Beth, Tapawa, and Afaka, and Humta, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, and Seor, nine cities with their villages. Ma'an Carmel, and Ziph, and Yutza, and Yisrael, and Yokteam and Zanoa, Cain, Geba, and Timna, ten cities with their villages. Hahul, Bethzor, and Gedor, and Ma'ara, and Bethanath, and Eltaquan, six cities with their villages. Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Ya'arim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Arabah, Midden, and Sekaka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and En Gede, six cities with their villages. As for the Yebusites, the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, the children of Yehuda, were unable to drive them out, so the Yebusites have dwelt with the children of Yehuda at Jerusalem to this day.